Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for tossing my co-worker's nasty sweater in the dumpster? I work in a small office, just seven of us and there's no HR department to deal with petty stuff. So when my co-worker, 55M, decided to basically live in this one sweater without ever washing it, it created a situation that I couldn't ignore any longer. This man has been rocking the same sweater every day for a month and the stench, oh man, it's like it took on a life of its own. It was so bad you could smell it from across the room. I'm talking, next level funk. At first I tried to be nice about it. I made comments like, hey, does anyone else smell something kinda musty in here? You know, dropping hints. But no dice, he didn't catch on. Finally I got tired of playing nice and straight up told him, dude, your sweater is starting to stink, maybe take it home and give it a wash. And what did he do? He looks me dead in the eye and goes, nah, that's not my sweater and just walks off like nothing happened. But here's the thing, it was definitely his sweater. I know what I smelled, okay? This guy's been wearing it every day for weeks and he acted like it wasn't his. That's when I knew I had to take matters into my own hands. I couldn't live like that. We're all crammed into this small office with no ventilation, and his sweater was single-handedly ruining my life. So when he left one night, I grabbed the sweater, confirmed the stank, and on my way out I threw that bad boy into the dumpster out back. The next day, dude was walking around asking everyone if they'd seen his sweater. I just shrugged and said, nah, haven't seen it today, which technically wasn't a lie. I mean, I hadn't seen it that day, it was gone in the trash the night before. I thought that was the end of it, but then the guilt started creeping in. Maybe I overstepped. But at the same time, I could not deal with the smell anymore. Then, my coworkers started chiming in with their thoughts, but not in person, we all know how it is. They were silent at the office, but the comments I imagined from them, and honestly, what I hoped they were thinking, were along the lines of, good riddance to that stinky fang. Maybe I'm delusional, but I figured I had some quiet support. Plus, my boss is utterly useless in these situations. I even mentioned the whole sweater fiasco to him before, and his brilliant solution was to compromise and let the guy wear the sweater three days a week. What kind of solution is that? How does wearing a stinky sweater, part-time, make it stink any less? Anyway, I got defensive after a while because a few people suggested I should have washed the sweater for him or taken other routes. Like, really? Am I supposed to do this grown man's laundry? Just spray some febrez and call it a day, some said. Listen, y'all ever try to cover up a nasty smell with febrez? It doesn't eliminate the stench, it gives it superpowers. Nah, I wasn't about to be his personal laundromat either. Then people started asking if I was worried about the legal side of things. Legal? We're talking about a smelly sweater here, not a stolen car. What are the cops gonna do? Dust it for fingerprints and start a citywide hunt for the sweater thief? I have joked, maybe I'll get sent to sweater court, and the Honorable Judge Cardigan will take pity on me and reduce my sentence to laundry duty in prison. Like, come on, we're talking about a sweater. I was feeling kinda bad, but at the same time, I didn't know what else I could've done. Then Monday rolled around and we had our usual morning meeting. I was planning to pull my coworker aside afterward and fess up, but before I could, the guy hijacked the meeting to bring up his missing sweater. This is where things got weird. He said he knew people had been complaining about the smell, but now that his sweater was gone, he felt a disrespected and demanded a full confession. I was thinking, is this real life? But the kicker? He said if no one confessed, he was going to take further measures. I'll admit, I thought about owning up to it right then and there but his eyes had this wild, intense look, and I didn't feel safe. So, I kept my mouth shut. Nobody else fessed up either, so the guy stormed out of the office. Our boss? Of course he did nothing. A couple hours later, the co-worker returns, with some guy he claims is his cousin, and a police officer. This officer wasn't in uniform, didn't have a badge, nothing. Dude looked more like he was about to go to a barbecue than conduct an investigation. He said his cousin would be interrogating us one by one all day. That's when our boss finally stepped in and was like, nope, that's not happening, and dragged my coworker into his office. I don't know what went down in there, but it got loud toward the end. Turns out, he was fired later that day. Not the outcome I was going for, but hey, problem solved, right? Now, looking back on all this, I see some people still think I should have handled things differently. Maybe. But do I regret it? N-A-H, not really. If it were up to me, I'd do it all over again if it meant having a stink-free office.
Comment. F deck. She literally said that it stinks and to take it home and wash it. His response was not my sweater, when the stench is coming from his sweater. Therefore, yes. It's a distraction, how can you work next to dude if his sweater smells that bad? Like Ike what you mean by she didn't say anything, or had a conversation, he completely blew her off. So yeah, fuck him in his musky skank ass sweater, I would also enjoy having to walk past him and not have my nostrils nuked by weeks old moss. Gambling Genocider None of this makes Op's actions okay though. This is a pretty hard YTA, or at best ESH. Just Merriweather. At what point is someone allowed to stand up for their own quality of life? It's a hygiene issue at this point. Just because a solution is relatively extreme, doesn't mean it can't be justified. The fact that you are even on the fence about ESH means you're not even sure about the coworker being an asshole. So, why do they get off as Mabe an asshole for refusing to address the legitimate concern Op spoke to them about? How is the asshole not the one who denied being the source of a hygiene issue at work, when politely asked to do a reasonable thing and take care of it? Sometimes I think people who read these posts have no actual concept of interpersonal relationships. Not every act exists in a vacuum. Sometimes you have to draw a line in the sand, and for me, workplace hygiene is a big one. I refuse to suffer for my co-workers' lack of sanitary practices. We're all adults. Take showers, wash your clothes, and don't force your shitty hygiene to be other people's problems. Calypsosin Let's take it a step further. Co-worker shits their pants daily instead of going to the bathroom, forcing their co-workers to smell their shit-filled pants all day. They complain to him directly, and he waves them off as if it's not his problem. What's the response here? You have a boss with resolution issues and no HR to speak of. You can't take the co-worker into the bathroom and wipe his ass every time. Like, he'd need to go. If he won't stop shitting his pants, washing his clothes or himself, he's a literal walking miasma of stinking bacteria and his presence would reduce productivity and morale of everyone else. Sure, maybe she could have been more direct like, no, I'm 100% sure it's your sweater, I can smell it from X feet away. If don't clean it I'll have to get rid of it for the sake of the entire workplace. Does Op have a right to throw his shit away? Perhaps not, but Jesus Christ, imagine being okay with wearing a stinky, unwashed sweater and just ignoring everyone's discomfort. I'd burn the fucking sweater in effigy to bad smells. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you got more to share.